am in that back at one of my favorite places. If you've watched me over the years, you have seen me here several times before, and we are out at Whippoorwill Hollow Organic Farm off 138 right outside of Walnut Grove. I'm standing here with the owner and farmer, Andy Bird. <clears throat> Thank you for letting us come out here today, Andy. Good morning. Glad to have you out here today. It's always a pleasure to come out to the farm, and especially at this time of year, it's a beautiful spring morning. Things are starting to pop up. As a matter of fact, it's a little bit cold outside. <clears throat> so we are in the greenhouse. Um, as you can see in the background, all of these fresh new plants coming up that are gonna be delicious produce uh, for later on in the season. But one thing that we're here to talk about today is the benefits of organic and to introduce you a little bit if you're not sure exactly what organic is. Um, it's a buzzword that most everybody hears these days. You see it in the grocery store now. It's becoming a lot more common than when I used to come out here and it was like, organic, what? <laughs> What's so, that? Exactly. So would you like to tell everybody just briefly, you know, what is organic? What's the big deal? Well, organic, uh, we're, we're certified uh, through a certification, and it means that we have to go by certain rules and regs. And the uh, main thing is that uh, we treat our soil good, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't use any type of uh, pesticides, herbicides, uh, chemically. Right. Uh, now, we do use pesticides and herbicides, but they are under a certain guidelines that uh, like the synthesis so we use a uh, the oil off of that for a pesticide right uh, it's edible but it does help keep our bugs in control uh, uh, we use uh, no harsh fertilizers uh, we use mainly uh, chicken manures mm -hmm. and different things like that that uh, that is all you know all natural um one of the things that always stands out to me when we're talking about organic and actually one of the things that i've learned from you is on an organic farm nothing goes to waste right we do a lot of composting you know when we pick a plant and we pull off we get ready to uh do our csa box or either go to a market you know, we had to pull off some bad stuff. Right. And that always goes to either animals or in the compost pile. And then if we cut grass or whatever, it goes in the compost pile. Right. And then the chickens, manure, whatever goes whatever. into the compost. Yeah. So everything is kind of... What's always amazing to me is farming organic is actually the way that farming was original originated back, you know, in uh, Bible times, well, basically. Well, it's nothing new. Everybody, right. everybody thinks uh, organic's new. It's just back to where Grandma and Grandpa used to use the uh, manure out of the mule barn or the horse barn. Right. And, and the, the new part really is the regulations, which I do know that you have to go by strict regulations in order to call yourself certified organic. Um, there's lots of different buzz terms that float around today. Uh, farmers markets now are becoming very popular and you might hear locally grown, um, you know, naturally grown, right. pastured eggs, you know, organic, all of that kind of stuff. But truly organic is kind of the, the gold standard. Right. It's, it's kind of the top of the pyramid. And you do have to meet definite requirements to be able to be considered organic. So right. that's why organic produce typically costs more and um, eggs or anything organic mm. does typically cost more. We have a uh, we have a strict standard to go by, and, and we can be in inspected at any time, um, and you know, which that's good, mm -hmm. you know. Right. That, and that's what we want: uh, a good strict reg regulations that uh, um, makes us provide by those rules. Right. So, one of the great things about having an organic farm right here in Walton County is you offer something called the CSA. Now, explain to us exactly what CSA is and give us the details about it. 
Well, CSA is Community Supported Agriculture. Okay. And the more and more farms that come into the county and local around uh, communities, um, we're trying to get them to come back to the farm in support, mm -hmm. uh, come a part of the farm. So this way you can come in, you can purchase a CSA, it's a once a week box. Okay, once a week. And you pay from anywhere, ours is at $20. And there are different prices. So is the $20, is that the starting price for a box? $20 is $20 a week, weeks. We really like to do one month at a time. Right, okay. But then you get every week fresh vegetables mm -hmm. picked that day, goes into a box. Or a bag um, you pick them up here on this farm on Tuesday afternoons um, and you have seven eight ten ten items right you know from lettuce to radishes and carrots and beans and you know kales and chards and um, this assortment of things, squash. And I can, now a box will typically, is it judged to feeding two people, four people, or is it is it kind of well, put together that way? A box, a box will feed, we have, a lot of our people say a box feeds four people and more. Okay, so basically it's kind of geared towards the average family, which has yes. typically four people, two parents, and two children. Um, so the average family around would have plenty for the week and probably then yes. some yes. with off of a off of a box. So I will say um, that the times that I have participated is definitely positive because it really influences your diet. And you hear me talk a lot about nutrition and I talk a lot about exercise as well. But one of the things that belonging to a community supported agriculture or CSA is that you actually get things in your box that you may never buy in the grocery store. Um, sometimes you may never see in the grocery store, um, but you certainly probably would not think about buying it. And it kind of forces you a little bit outside your comfort zone. Yes, it makes you a challenge. Uh, and then a lot of times we give recipes mm -hmm. and stuff that something new or, or it's some things that you know a lot of people don't cook with and then we right. give them a good recipe or a couple of good recipes and then they can then coordinate with what what else is in the box right know? and what they would normally fix um, because the box does consist of produce there's not meat or anything right. like that into the box it's well definitely... we're hoping uh, in the future that we'll be able to uh, give a meat share Oh wow! That, so. that would be incredible. So you would actually have some local meat in there, possibly along with um, produce too. I will say one time um, I got some raw peanuts, which that is definitely not something that I would look for or buy or even be able to find around here in the grocery store. And um, I love boiled peanuts. And so I actually made homemade boiled peanuts, which my family loved and were very excited yeah. about doing it. And I had never done it before. And that's something that had I not gotten that in the box, I probably never would have done. Um, also, uh, that's what got me to start eating kale. I had never eaten kale, got it in a box one time, and was like, oh, what do I do with this? And then it forced me to do a little bit of research, and like you said, found some new recipes, and then mm -hmm. find all kinds of new ideas um, that really makes it healthy for your family and also right. spices up dinner, which you get in a rut cooking the same, same old things. Old, same old. So that was one thing that I really enjoy about it is because you do get in that rut and it's hard when you're in the grocery store you're kind of focused on what you know you normally buy and you don't necessarily have time or take the time to be adventurous but the csa right. really allows you to be adventurous and 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 encourages your family to be adventurous too and you're eating and another thing when you buy local and it's fresh and as a lot of our chefs that i sell to you know you don't have to do much with it right that's true. Yeah, the flavor already got the flavor there. The flavor so is fresh. definitely different for sure. I can say, and even with organic, um, you can tell the difference in in the flavor of things for sure. 
um, because you know you're getting what's in season, which makes a huge difference. We, right. We've gotten away from seasons um, because we have year-round grocery stores that sell everything, whereas used to when there wasn't the um, industrial type grocery stores as we have now where we have the industrial farms and stuff, uh, you actually did have to eat on season when right. you grew your own food a long time ago. So, um, so we've gotten away from even really knowing what is seasonal. Unless you plant a garden, you have a little bit better idea of what actually is in season. So it makes such a difference. Organic and then also eating in season makes a right. huge, a huge difference. So. Um, well, let's talk about definitely the CSA is something that I would encourage everyone to check into. And um, what if they just wanted to try it for a week? Is that okay? Or um, and then see if they like it, see if it's for them that they could just try it out and then come Thank back. Try a week is fine. Okay. And so, how would they go about saying I want a box this week? Well, they would have to come to the farm and um, fill out a form okay and that uh, we get their info okay. their address their telephone number um, their email and um, we set them up what date what time so does everybody pick up on Tuesdays or are there different times or right now everybody day? picks up on Tuesday okay as our as our uh, as we get bigger, you know, there'll be two. Okay. Two then pickups. there, then there'll be a couple of pickups. And then we try them. to offer like Oxford. We have uh, a lot of the professors and stuff down there. Mm -hmm. They pick up, so they send one, one out. Right. And picks up everybody's. That's and a like, good idea. Like we get a lot of people in Monroe, then one will come out and make another delivery. Uh, snail bells the same way you know, right like. so that is definitely a good idea this could be something if you wanted to do it with a bunch of friends um, or if in a workplace if you wanted to get some co-workers together then it could be the possibility of several people you know then you can take turns picking up so because I know sometimes right. you know with our overly busy schedules people are like oh I don't know that I would be able to get out there every week or something but if you right. can work it where you're kind of carpooling with people that would work really well and then you can share in the responsibility of actually picking it up. So, so if you're interested in the CSA, you would actually come out to the farm and uh, fill out a form, sure. and uh, then you would be able to sign up to start getting a box. So I really encourage you to do that. Um, all right, what about some other events? Now, you have some other great events, and of course we're going to get to my favorite one, but first... Let's talk about some of the other events that are coming up out at the farm. Now you have the um, the Indian, what is it called? The American powwow. The American powwow. And what exactly is that? Uh, it's the Native American powwow. They come and do their ceremonial dancing. Uh, they have vendors mm -hmm. and they do uh, the ceremonial dance with their Brigada and stuff up. Oh wow! So you can so that's actually come in April. In April, so this month actually. Um, do you do you happen to have the date or? Uh, I think it's going to be the third weekend. The third weekend. Okay, so that's coming up very soon, um, in April. So can they check online? Is there somewhere that yes. they can check? They can go to my um, uh, website. Okay, is that Whipper and that's Whippoorwill Hollow Organic Farm. Whippoorwill Whippoorwill Hollow Organic Farm dot com. Dot com. Okay, so that you can find out the information about the powwow and um, unfortunately I've never been able to attend that but from what I hear it is something very interesting to see. Yeah, it's, it's a, a very quite a show. good experience. Um, now is there an admission fee for the powwow? The admission fee is uh, three uh, five dollars for adults, three for children over twelve, and um, seniors is three. 
and three. Okay, wow. So that's actually a wonderful it was deal. A very good price was to to be able to come out and actually witness something that you would not normally be able to see around here for sure. Um, okay, so let's talk about my favorite event, which I'm sure I'll be back out here when it gets closer to the time, so that we'll be talking about it again. But I just want to go ahead and whet your appetite for this event that's coming up at the end of September called Field of Greens. Yes. This will be our seventh Field of Greens. Wow. In Field of Greens, we started out with Field of Greens, and uh, we were just wanting to put together a couple of chefs and have some friends out. Right. And kind of support local grown, and and um, we had, you know, a couple of farmers that supplied for them, and then, you know, we, we decided this was a good way to get the... Uh, the people out to try a lot of new different restaurants. So now our field of greens went from about 150 the first time uh, last year we had over 2,000 people. Wow, wow, that is incredible. And I could definitely say that it isn't an incredible festival. If you love food, and that is what the festival is about, is about food and um, as Andy said, there's tons of people here. There's the chefs that actually cook and you get to taste all these different um, wonderful combinations straight from the farm of different restaurants that are all over Atlanta and some come from Athens as well. And then not only that, but there's also wonderful vendors here that are all surrounded around locally made stuff, um, handmade stuff or health type um, right. associated vendors and then there's some great kids activities too there's always a kids village that have kids activities and then vendors specifically mm -hmm. for kids so but I know we will be talking about that again and then good music oh, oh that's month. true that's true I forgot about good music I mean it's just for all of your senses can be filled when you come here for sure for field of green so that's definitely well I've had so many people tell me that you know this is the event of the year. Yes, and I, had one, I agree. <laughs> I had one couple said, told me, said, you know, we've been to all types of events all over California and where, and they said they chose our event as the best. Wow, and I, I would definitely agree, the organization of it and everything. So, as you can see, we actually, having Whippoorwill Hollow Organic Farm here in Walton County is a great treasure for us. It provides us a lot of opportunities that we might have to drive a little further to take advantage of, like the festivals and the wonderful produce. So, I encourage you to check out WhippoorwillHollowOrganicFarm.com and find out all of this kind of information and as always you can get in touch with me if you have questions or want more information you can always find us on the web at waltonwellness.org you can email me um, through the website or you can get me the old-fashioned way on the phone at 770-856-1251 thanks for, going, oh sorry I was going to say uh, our cost on the uh, field of greens is 25 uh, a ticket, but uh, you get tastings of 40 chefs, mm -hmm. um, and uh, just a great time. It's an opportunity to come out, visit all the chefs, talk to the chefs, and then you can make your mind up for the rest of the year. Exactly. What restaurant do I want to go to you know, right. this weekend? And that's exactly what I do. I don't get to go out very often with two young children and stuff, but we come here and then we get to taste. And during the year, we have special occasions and we will go visit the restaurants that were actually here. That's been kind of a tradition of ours. So thanks for letting us come out today. And my number is 770-601. 0110. Okay, and we will put that on the screen too. So thanks for letting us come out and sharing your farm with us this morning. Okay. And um, thank you for watching.